What's up, YouTubers? Mr. McRaven here, and welcome to this video, which is the start of a new series of videos that I'll be doing. And it's a playthrough of the brand new Resident Evil 4 HD edition, uh, which is currently available on uh, Steam. Uh, and yes, you are right in thinking they have previously released Resident Evil 4 on PC, but unfortunately, it was such a badly ported version that it is pretty much unplayable. However, this has been redone, rehashed, if you like, by Capcom, uh, specifically for the PC, uh, for PC gamers, and it's supposed to be much, much better. Now, this was released last night, and I had a quick little playthrough just to see how the controls are, because they do include uh, mouse and keyboard support. Uh, personally, I found the, the keyboard and mouse a little bit weird to use, so I've switched over to the Xbox 360 controller, uh, which they've also included, and it makes it much, much easier, and it's much more reminiscent of uh, playing uh, on the GameCube, uh, which is what I originally played the game on. Uh, for those of you who are fans of the Resident Evil series, uh, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to that. So without further ado, we're going to take a look at uh, some of the options, as it is the HD version of the game. And we can look in the video settings. And you can see you can set the resolution to uh, 1920 by 1080, uh, and that's the lowest resolution. So we can stick to full 1080. Uh, full screen, you can either fix it to 30 or 60 FPS. Uh, you can adjust the anti-aliasing. Uh, I'm using a GTX 780, so I can whack that up to full. Uh, there's no problem there. Motion blur on, uh, shadow quality high, and texture quality. Uh, you can either have as HD or uh, the original. Now, of course, you wouldn't want the original. Uh, you want it in high definition, uh, which is uh, all good. So those are the uh, graphical options uh, that you can change. And I've also included the how to play uh, for those of you that uh, don't know. Now, like I said, I did previously uh, go through a bit of the game uh, to see what it's like, but we're going to start afresh, and uh, we might skip a couple of the uh, the intros, as most of us have probably already seen it before, and uh, you're probably looking just for the uh, the action. Now, given that I've played this game, oh, I can't even remember how many times I played this game through. I'm probably going to remember where every little nook, cranny, and secret is, but no doubt if I miss one, you can always point one out in the comments below. So let's get started uh, with a new game. Uh, normal or easy? Uh, I think we'll go with normal. Resident Evil 4. Nineteen ninety-eight. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred. Yeah, let's skip that because uh, we've seen it before. So there we are. Fond memories, folks. Fond memories. So using the controller, it makes it much easier. You can aim, and I remember I always used to take out these crows. Get a bit of money in the beginning. My aiming is not what it used to be. There's a third crow. There's a third crow somewhere. Oh, ah, oh, there he is. Reload pistol. Pick up a bit of money. And the jewels. So everything is as it should be. You've got your case with all your bits in it. Uh, so that's a good, um, you can examine it. There we go. So as you can see, HD textures have been applied to all the uh, all the items. It looks much better in the uh, original. I'm actually quite impressed with the graphics considering the age of the game. Uh, but we'll soon see when we get to some of the other uh, parts. Shot him in the ass. Hmm, 
might have noticed a bit of screen tearing there during the uh, light tank. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Just load the pistol. If I remember correctly, there should be some ammo up here. Yeah, let's take that and we'll jump out the window. Oh good, they all drop money. That's quite nice. And you can hear the dog moaning in the distance. Those of you that remember about this dog, you need to leave him or save him. Of course, we all want to save him. We know why we want to save him. But let's not spoil it for everyone else, I suppose. Money. Money. This is good. I'm sure there's a... Uh, is there a nest in the tree somewhere? Well, I can't remember. Let's go save this poor puppy. Oh, let's do birds. Ah, this one. I need drop ammo. It's good. Grenade, even better. Oh, poor doggy. Let's save the poor fella. There you go. I love the way he just runs off like it's nothing. Good waste our bullets shooting these things, but I think I'll just walk in the middle. There's no. Yeah, there's a bear trap there in the middle. Oh, he didn't drop anything. Is there a nest in one of these trees? I'm sure there was. I'm just missing it. Very well. Money, 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 money. Good for us, Tero. Avisar a los demás. That's it. Run away. Oh. Yeah, drop money as well. No wealthy people around here. Oh, bullets. Gotta take the bullets. Need the bullets. Right, let's have a quick look. We got 25 rounds for the pistol. And uh, let's have a look at the map. So everything is as it used to be on the GameCube, as uh, I remember. Crack on. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it. Thanks. Ah, uh, playing manual. Control configuration changes are not reflected here. Please pay attention to button functions. 
Reloading, press A while holding RT to reload your firearm. Picks, approaching enemies are either stunned on, on their knees, blah, 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 blah. I think we all know how this ends. There we go. Sneak around with some beat us, sir. Ah, Borel. Hey, Aka. Yeah. Once more ammo before they notice us. Some herbs. Oh, there's a woman there. Oh, no, they found me. Right, let's try and grab the shotgun before it gets a little bit too heavy. Yeah, you missed. Why these people? I guess Leon is the planning to kick your ass. Alright, well, let's go grab that shotgun. Ah! Another grenade, that's good. Some more ammo up there. Grab the shotgun shells. Yeah, let's check that, shall we? Those of you that don't remember, there is. Um... Oh, I'll show you afterwards. Oh, chainsaw guy! Oh, eggs. Gotta load up the shotgun. Oh, the shotgun's already loaded up. That's good, let's move that. I'm all grouped up, I think. Okay, come on. Just for the hell of it, let's chuck a grenade at him. Switch back to the shotgun. Ooh, that's gonna leave him up. This guy's tough! Shotgun ammo there. Ouch. Ouch. Run away, Leon. Run away. Uh, bit of heal. Money before it fades. No, no, I missed the money. Oh, 
Oh my word, the resistant. Finally. La campana. Es hora de rezar. Tenemos que irnos. Yeah, go to your little Lord Sattler. I'm sure I'm going to deal with you lot later on. Where's everyone going? Bingo? Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. So, folks, uh, that's really the beginning of the game. I think we all remember this. And if you haven't played Resident Evil 4, where have you been? So, let's find all the uh, little secret hidden things. They should all be uh, where they used to be. A yellow herb there. And red herbs over here. So using the uh, Xbox 360 controller is really, really easy. Uh, in comparison to the keyboard and mouse, but you could get used to the keyboard and mouse. Uh, it's just that I found it much, much easier to use the uh, 360 controller. Oh, there's nothing in that one. So let's go and check this building. Nothing there, some bullets there. Money, incendiary grenades, yes, we like incendiary grenades, they're very good. Okay, there's nothing more. Remember, if you are uh, opening a door, if you push the button once, it opens it slowly, and if you push it well, it's really hard, you'll kick it open, which will help you if there are enemies on the other side of the door. I will check we didn't miss anything upstairs. Of course, there's a duel. Outside, which I'm going to show you where the uh, location of that jewel is, in case some of you didn't know it was there. So don't forget there's ha going to be handgun ammo up here in the uh, chimney breast. Just on the top of this roof. There it is. Here's a little jewel, which is always nice. Now if we go into this building... More ammo, this is good. I'm gonna need all this ammo. What am I doing? Using a knife. So, should kick it three times. And there we go, should open up, no problem. Shotgun shells, this is good. I like lots of ammo. Money on the bed. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm doing it again. What are you doing? Open the door. <laughs> right, so that's that room. And before you leave the area, there's also chicken. <laughs> What's a herb? Was there a herb up here? No, there's the uh, handgun ammo in that corner. I thought it was a herb up there. If you climb the clock tower, before you move on, you'll find some shotgun shells on a table. What's really quite surprising about this game is just how much you remember um, where everything is. Everything that you ever picked up in a game previously in uh, playing on the GameCube or whatever it was that you used to play it on, 
all the things are where they used to be. Uh, they haven't changed it, so if you look in the old nooks and crannies that you used to look on, on the console, you should find them all uh, on the PC version uh, that's been re-released. I think there's, no, there's nothing in this one. Let's see if there's anything in here. Some more ammo. Airboards. Another piece of paper. Oh, oh, oh. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you who have not yet been informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this is that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Chief, mob cheese. Yeah. So there we go. So let's move on. Ah, I fondly remember this place. Now, as you can see, why am I not on the ground? There we go. Now, before I go shooting everybody, uh, some of you might remember this little blue medallion thing at the beginning of the game. And uh, if you shoot uh, the hidden medallions that are around the game, there's one up there, there's one there, there's a whole bunch of them, series, series of them located all over this area. Now, there are 15 in total. Um, you only have to collect 10. Let's see if I can get to it before I jump over. Yeah. Let's take that. Other blue medallions. 15 blue medallions, 7 in the farm, 8 in the cemetery. For those of you who destroy 10 or more, will be awarded. Uh, now, if you didn't already know, if you shoot 10, you'll get a nice little reward. But if you shoot all 15, the reward is actually better. Now, I can't remember what it is exactly you get. This has been a very long time since I've played this game. But I do remember that the reward was much, much better. Look at all these eggs. It's great. More over there as well. Right. So we'll save the handgun ammo. And we'll load up the shotgun. Get rid of these douchebags. Hmm. What's up? Yep, yeah, that's you finished. Oh, that it missed. Yeah. You ain't getting up for breakfast again, that's for sure. Right. Hello, dog. Cut these eggs before they disappear. Ooh, golden egg. Another one over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Did that hurt? Oh, I killed the chicken. Sorry, chicken. Where's the other guy? I'm sure there's another guy. Somewhere around here. Oh, don't let, you know, you, your fellow man dying underneath you bother you. You just carry on with your hay. What's up? Oh, you can't beat a shotgun. Oh, more bullets! Yay! Like bullets! Jump down! Whoa! Your mama ever tell you not to sneak up on people? Sink! Bad idea. Right, let's check all the nooks and crannies before we shoot these medallions. Side by the uh, little well. Let's go there. Make a quick pit 
stop. Yeah. Now everybody's well. There's a little pearl pendant. Hanging up. And what you need to do is you need to shoot that first. Shoot the pendant and then you can take it. Without it dropping in all that filthy Ugh, disgusting. Right, anywhere else that I've missed? Or carry on. Anything in here? No, just disgustingness. Okay, so here's one of the medallions. Check that one. There's one on there, but I'm not going to reach that. There's that one outside. One up there in the middle. There's another one. There's that one there. Trying to remember. Which one up in there? Oh. That one there. One up there. I'm going to take note where all these are in case you uh, didn't already know. Reload. <laughs> right now. Is one hanging up in the tree over there? I can't remember. We shot that one, didn't we? Yes, we did. I know there's one on that little turbine thing. Let's go up here, we get a bit of view. Go. Jump over there. Let's have a look. There's one over there, and there's that one there. That one over there. So that should be it for this area, I think. I don't think there's any more. And then there's uh, eight more in the cemetery. Anyway, let's go down here and get some bits. Oh, we can't go that way, so we check in here. I remember, some of these boxes might have a snake in, for those of you that remember. Jewel, that's good. Thing in there. And there's a hidden section over here. Let's uh, climb up the ladder. Not sure if you don't jump down this part. There we go. Little tank thing. For this beer stein, uh, as you can see, there are little slots on the side. You, I think you can actually, if I remember correctly, you can place jewels, some of the jewels in the beer style and makes it more valuable when you come to sell it to the uh, merchant. So I believe you can push this out of the way. There we go. I don't think we've missed anything from this area. No, I think, I think that's it. So, before we move on, I think I'm actually going to save it here, and we're going to pick up next time uh, with the next episode of this playthrough. It's just a taster, and then we're going to move on to the uh, next section, which will just show you the save function. Oh, no. uh, right, that one will go with the uh, slot 20. Just like it was on the, uh, the console before. There we go, save successful. So there we have it, folks. First of the playthroughs. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this rather short episode. There will be, of course, more episodes as we go through the game. And uh, hopefully I'll remember all the secrets and uh, show you all the secrets as I play through. Uh, until then, take care and uh, have fun. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them in the comments box below and I'll try and uh, answer them as best I can. Uh, until then, take care. And have fun, guys.